G'day guys, welcome back. Doing another little pull for you today. I am going to do a swipe today. And now if you guys have been watching my channel, you'll know that a while back I used uh, high flow paints with a glue mix, uh, glue and Floetrol, I think it was. I'm going to try the same thing, but I'm using my glue and water mix that I used for my recent flip cups. 65% glue, 35% water. And I'm going to try these high flow paints that I've got, because I've still got lots left over from when I bought them a couple of years ago, so I thought I'd try them out. So I've got 65% glue, 35% water and I put 100 grams of that pouring medium in my cups and then I added 20 grams of this so it's very strong you don't need a lot so sort of only yeah 20 percent paint so 100 grams of pouring medium to 20 grams of paint this one I didn't want a lot of it so I've just got 50 grams of pouring medium and uh, what did I do 10 grams did I do 10? Did I do 5? No, I think I did 10. Can't remember now. All right, so I'm going to do a swipe um, and I'm going to do a diagonal swipe. I would have preferred gold for my swipe, but I haven't got any, so I'm using this metallic pearl. I'll have to buy some um, gold in the high flows because I don't have any. So I'm going to pour the uh, this cream colour, metallic cream, down the middle and I'm going to swipe out that way. So diagonally. Right, so for cells, I'm going to use the coconut milk hair serum. And I've just put it into my little squeezy bottle. So as I said, I've got 120 grams in here. And I like to use one drop per ounce or per 30 grams. So I'm going to put four drops in. And I won't do any in my swipe colour, my metallic cream here. I'm just actually wondering if I've only put five in here. I really can't remember now. I'll have to weigh it. Pretty sure I put 10 in but now I'm just second guessing myself. That's only 65 grams. Um, 60. I think it's okay. No, it's not. So that's 60 grams. So 50 grams of it is paint and 5 grams is the cup, which means I've only got 5 in there. So I'm going to put another 5 in. That's it, this one. Uh, what's it called? Just turquoise. So I'm going to put another 5 grams in that. I don't know why I only put 5 in before. wasn't thinking at all. Okay, so that's another 5 in there. Thought I'd see what happens if I used my glue and water mix. Okay, so I'm just going to put two drops of coconut milk hair serum in this one because it's only got half the amount. There we go. All right. So this is my colours, the High Flow Global High Flow. As I said, they're really watery. That one's called Pool Party. It's sort of a light bluey turquoise color and then this is this one here the greeny blue it's called turquoise and this one is thalo blue this one's the navy it's called deep space and then my swipe one is metallic pearl so it's just a off-white really now it's not leaving a mound when I pour the paint in where the little trace is. It doesn't leave a mound, it just all disappears. So that's what the consistency is like for this, for the swiping. All right, so I'll just go around a few times. I have got a few air bubbles in here, so hopefully it'll be all right. But gee, it's lovely and smooth and creamy. Love that texture. Okay, so I'm gonna start with 
the navy. And put some of that up there. I'm going to leave a gap for my pearl and then on the other side I'm going to put the phthalo blue like so. And then I'm going to put some of this lighter turquoise like that. Mm, do I want that one next? Yes, I'll put that one next. They're very runny as you can see. And mm, do I want that one? No, I don't want that one next. I'm going to have to put some navy between them. A little bit of navy between them. So, because I think these two colours next to each other, they're too similar, so I need some other colour there in between. You can go off the edge, you have a bit too much of you there. And a little bit of this. And maybe a little bit more of this one. Oh, look, my middle's gone. Totally gone. I'll put that there. It's very runny. It's all closed up together. And then I want the pearl on the edges as well. This is the colour that's going to be dragged off. So there won't be a lot of it left. That's why I'm using more of it. Your last colour that you put on your swipe, it tends to get dragged off. So if you want to see any of it at all, you really need to have a good amount there. Otherwise it just gets lost. I'm going to have to make a space in the middle for my cream. That didn't work well, did it? There we go. It's finishing up the colours anyway. Still got a little bit left, haven't used them all. Now, I need to make a middle. What am I going to use for that? Um, a finger. Closing up really quickly. Oh well, look, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to pour it over the top. Like so. Oh, it's reacting, isn't it? Look at that. Paints are really reacting. Okay, now to swipe with. I'm going to use, where is it, my sheet of plastic, my little document holder. Gee, it's closing up really quickly. All right, let's do the white. Interesting, she says. Is that good or bad? Hmm. All right. Mm. Some more colours through. All right. I'm wiping off my bit of plastic with my cloth. 
Gee, heaps of cells, aren't they? My goodness. All right, I'm going to flip it around. So this is basically just a practice for me to see what these high flow with the glue and water are going to do. So I'm going to need a little bit more white because I've used it all. Tiny little bit. I'm going to have to go from here. That's all of it. Okay. It's not the neatest looking pour I've ever done, is it? Doesn't help that I get interrupted. Anyway, let's go. Okay. So that's that one done. Now I'm just going to use the other half here and pop it there and finish that corner off. It's a bit tricky to do a diagonal pour like this. I must say it's a bit more tricky than I was expecting. Let's wipe my plastic off. Throw it in the sink later, but I'll just pop it there for now. Okay, what do you reckon of that? Oh, look at that. That's a pretty cell. It's got aqua, navy, green and a white centre. Oh, well, there's a pretty one too. Actually, there's a few really big, pretty ones. I'm just going to torch a little bit in the middle where the white is. And I would say that I used way too much oil because that is just explosion. Cell mania, as I call it. Total explosion of cells. Wow, that's different, isn't it? Those cells are amazing. Wow. Glue and water. Don't really know what to make of that. As I said, it's not the neatest, prettiest pour that I've done, but I just wanted to see what would happen with these, these high flows. And glue and water, no flow troll. So I can definitely, definitely do this again and cut back to maybe two drops in each colour because that is just, just amazing. Okay, let's take you in for a quick close-up and I'll do another one where I'm not so rushed and um, have people interrupting me. My parents have come over for afternoon tea for my daughter's birthday. I made chocolate mud cake and they've brought their new puppy so of course my dogs are just going to carry on and say hi to the new puppy. Well he's, he's not that new anymore, I think he's about four months now. Okay so look at that, what do you think? I'm going to take you in here because look at these cells, look how amazing these little cells are. Oh, there's a little light glare there. Sorry about that, my overhead light. But these are pretty cool. All these multicolored cells. Would have been really good with gold, wouldn't it? If I had some gold. I'm going to have to buy some. Go over to this corner. Is it going to focus? I don't know if it wants to focus there or not. Then we've got these big dark cells with the navy and the turquoise in them. And then over here where the colours have dragged over each other, we've got more of the multicoloured cells. So, very unusual. I don't mind it. it. Certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but I don't mind it. There we go, we're in focus again. Okay, so... As I said, I'll do another one and um, cut down on the oil. It's just too much. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.